Hey everyone, welcome back to another Ionic Figma design tutorial and how to use, we're going to be continuing uh, our series on how to use the Ionic design system in Figma to create out of the box native Ionic UI uh, mockups. Uh, so we left off on creating our product page, so I'm going to continue here and um, I think for our next page, we can we could add more stuff to our product page, but I think it would just mostly just be like cards and stuff. So I think next we're gonna move on to a profile page. So let's see what that would look like. So we grab a little frame over here. Let's call it our profile page. So this will be uh, coming in from the account page over here. Uh, so once again, let's pull in our toolbar. And I think we can just um, turn off the end altogether. I can't think of anything we need in it right now. Um, next, let's take uh, avatar image, drop it in here. Let's make it like 60 pixels by 60 pixels. And next to it, let's put, let's just put the name of the user. So uh, that looks like a good start. Um, I think we'll add a couple of lists so for different parts of the account. So I think one list can be for viewing shopping related info. So or actually profile like personal details. So in our personal details, we're gonna want. Uh, I think this entire list we're gonna want to use icons. So let's update that beforehand. And for now, let's. I think I have three things I can put in here. So let's put in our email. So that'll be. Uh, I don't think we need the end slot for anything. So let me just turn that off. Uh, there, and let's use the mail icon here. Let's use outlines. I think the outline ones look a lot cleaner. Uh, and then we can do phone number, so... Uh, again, I don't think we need this right here. Uh, and for the icon, we just use phone. And I think we, for the last item, we can add um, kind of like a password update section. So we just name this update password. Uh, put a lock kind of icon here. Let's see what we have. So lock. Yeah, perfect. Uh, let's just use this. And instead of the note here, I, w I think I want to throw in a button here. And it'll be um, change. And instead of having it be the primary color, I think it'll be better if it's kind of like a gray kind of, so medium. So you can update your password or Maybe it'll be better if we did a password and update here. Because there's only one verb. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then another list maybe shopping info. So this can be like saved address here. So let's just do like uh, one. So, and let's use, uh, let's use a location icon here. Maybe we can do some a saved credit card info, so, uh, or you know what, I have a better idea. Um, instead of that, we can just do, um, kind of like if this slot was empty, what kind of, what would it look like if the information still needed to be added? So let's do, let's call this one home, and so there's, there's a generic address, a home address, and a work address. And let's add another list for um, payment info. Saved payment methods. So this is where all your credit cards are stored. So let's do it. AMX ending in 2403. And we'll just use a credit card symbol here. And let's do maybe they have like some gift card money left. So let's do. Um, uh, $40 in gift card or you know what maybe I think it'll be better if we do gift card and and use the note here and just throw in how much balance they have left the so dollars maybe it's like 3970 
And we can use kind of like a reward kind of thing. So gift, let's see what we have for gift. That's good enough. And we don't need the third item. So right here we have a rough look at what a profile page could look like with just the list component used over and over again. And this could go on to have maybe like a recommendation segment. So one component that I included, which we use pretty frequently internally is a carousel. So this can be a list for maybe like their order history can go here. So they can see all the items they've ordered. And so clicking on any of these would take them to a detail page. So very quickly we have kind of like a edit, a kind of like a profile page kind of like a profile page going in. This can go many different directions, but right now I just kind of showed you a great way of how you can use items and lists quickly to build out your UI. Um, also, I just want to quickly show something which I, did, which I didn't get to show, which I didn't get to show is in items, you don't have to use just the components that are already in here. So if you want to use something other than a button, like today I actually came across a situation where I wanted to use a chip in here. All you have to do is just select chip and you're ready to go. And then this is just the chip you know and love with a, maybe like a close icon if you want to have some kind of in input here. Uh, I use this for a date selector today so that's why I just remembered that that's something you can do here. So that's just kind of like a flexibility that you're not limited to just the items I've already put in here. You can swap it out for any component. And the more things you enable, they'll grow horizontally. So if you use the auto layout end slot, it'll grow in like a flex row direction. And if you use these, it'll grow vertically in column form. All right, that was kind of just like a scattered look at what you can do with the Ionic components quickly. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed that and let me know what you want to see in the future.